Right, hold on. I'm going to go get my other phone so I can see what y'all are saying. Okay? I'll be right back. Oh my god, this one's almost dead. Alright. Okay. Be right back. some technical difficulty. Yo, I'm doing music today, so you get ASMR and mouth breathing. Almost there. Okay. All right. I'm here now. All right. Oh, I got to turn the volume down. There's a delay. This is my um, pass clearing. I'm working on the pass clearing spell.
everybody. Um, if I miss your comment, I'm not being mean. I'm just trying to focus. I had to sleep in my car too, babe. I know they're not comfortable. You can manage to find yourself a good spot though, once you've been in there for a while. I don't know what sound y'all can hear, but I just didn't want music today. I meant like living in your car. When you live in your car, it's hard to find a, it's hard to get comfortable, but then you'll find a sweet spot where you can. Yeah, my AC's running. And then I'm mouth breathing. The dogs are being pretty quiet at the moment. I just like to do these so people can see that I'm not like sitting on my ass. I really am trying to catch up the orders, you know? Just so they know they're not being forgotten and they're not being scammed. But that didn't do me any good at all. I'm trying. almost died. I've almost died like four times. What you did? Let the gas on the whole day. All right. So explosion or carbon dioxide, uh, carbon monoxide poisoning. Way to go. That was definitely a, a, a witch foot move, though. I'll be doing that dumb shit. Really dangerous, though, because a lot of times, by the time you realize you got carbon monoxide poison, you're too disoriented to get to fresh air. That was really risky. I'm glad you didn't get hurt. I am trying to read the comments. I can't get to all of them, but I'm trying. I look over every now and then. Oh, damn, Shannon. Yep. I'm making my um, backed up orders. This one is a uh, path clearing candle. <laughs> Thank you, Kauai. Kauai. Nine out of ten. 
No. Uh, tarot is a form of divination, and there it exists independent of witchcraft. Um, so, in other words, you can divine tarot without being a witch, and you can be a witch without being a tarot card reader. But they are both under the umbrella of the occult. Really, bitch? You just did that? Really? Do you believe in eclectic? Most witches are eclectic. Just FYI. Most are. There's very few that aren't. And it's not a type. It's just a way to describe how you do your work. Um, probably in another week or so, I'll reopen. I have some new products, but, um, I have to get these up first. Oh, so, in order to make sure they stand up, you hold a flame under the bottom of the candle. And then you stick it to a surface, and hold, you hold it there. Thank you for the corgi butt. You hold it there until the candle dries, and then the candle is stuck upright. Or you can use a candle holder. But you heat you heat the bottom of the candle right here. And then you stick it somewhere and you hold it until it stays stuck. That's cool, Southern Fried Fat. Yeah, he, he does the little heart farts. You mean these? That's the um, quantum physics formula for quantum entanglement teleportation theory, which has been proven after I got the tattoo. I'm not a vape fan. I know it sounds weird, but that shit hurts my throat. But we also found out that I swallow my smoke. I inhale very little of it. Because uh, my viewers used to go, where the hell do you, you smoke and nothing else comes out of your mouth? And um, it took me a while to figure out that I swallow my smoke. I don't inhale the majority of it. And that's why you never see me breathe it out. And I was like, Damn. That's what my brother and my father did. And that's why you never really saw us blow it out. Because it goes in our stomachs. That can't be good, but you know, whatever. Them vapes will take my breath away like you took a big old bong hit. Be coughing all over the place. Uh, for the dogs. I'm on live.
Um, I don't do it this way because there's not a quicker way. I do it this way because I spend the whole time that I'm doing it putting the juju in it and the intentions. And that's why I do it this way. There are tons of other quicker ways to do things. I like that way because it makes me focus. Yep. That's why I'm saying I focus on it. And so therefore your magic and your intention goes in there a lot. If you're doing it just to make a product, nothing's, it's fucking useless, basically. It, yeah. So, that's why I do it the way I do it. No, you're okay, uh, Sunflower. You just thought you were, you were, you were helping. But there's, um, there's actually a reason why I go the slow route. And that's why my stuff be working so good. Well, besides my experience, I'm sure that's a big part of it. And my phenomenal cosmic power! Itty bitty living space. It's about the destination. If it don't work, what the fuck is the point buying it? <laughs> Do what? No, like, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey, you guys. I'm like, no. Who said no. that? You yeah, don't know. The journey don't mean dick if they don't get it where it needs to go. Kawaii, bitch. <laughs> oh. Kawaii is pretty cool. She might have been joking. I need to get some white candy. Look at all these, look at all these chickens. <laughs> mm. oh, what the fuck? What do you want from me? Mm. 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 Now you can stop wasting other candles. No, I didn't know I, ha I didn't have blue. Pregnancy, tell us again. Did you throw it away? Don't throw it away. Pregnancy. Oh, that's just an old hippie thing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That is the journey. Oh. Did you throw away your pregnancy talisman? Do you have any more uh, water? Dream water? Yeah. No, I still have it. Okay, good. Um, so, um, you can contact me through email, but you will just clean your original talisman, and then you will take a nail file or a Dremel, and you're going to sand down the side the bottom of the the little baby where the herbs stick out you want to sand that down to expose the herbs again a new new give it a new surface and grind off all the, the old stuff and those are made to work for a lifetime so there's you don't have to reinvest on those pregnancy talismans because a lot of times you try you get pregnant and then it fails um and you lose or whatever but no you don't have to do anything new that's another reason why they're kind of expensive because they're they're there for the long run ah. bro you okay Oh, the taste. So, I have to down it really fast before I can taste it. 
We collaborate every now and then. I'm gonna go lay down. All right. I mean, watch your ears, like a little bit. All right. Did that person that had the pregnancy tell in here? Hey, would you be, bro? Hey, who is, who is the name of the creator that said the thing about putting your, if you put your can, motherfuck that hurt. If you, um, don't store your candles on the side. Okay, Phoenix. That it will, um, open portals. Who was that? I wanted to duet it with all my hundreds of upright candles that I stored. Oh, hey, Sin. Yeah, if you don't, if you store, if you don't store your candles on the side, you open portals and shit. <laughs> I just wanted to make a video, and not an asshole video, but one of those is just like, um, no. No. But I can't, I don't know who did it. Somebody said it was raving somebody and then that's it. And then when somebody asked them, what about pillar candles and tea lights? They were like, no, it just refers to chime candles. Yes, you can, um, Dabo. Mm. What are you eating? Well, stop eating it. No, I'm desperate. Huh? I'm desperate. You're hungry, but you don't know what? Yeah. Okay, Voltage. Oh, Auric Voltage. I like that name. Hey, Ranger. Why do I keep burning myself? I just burned myself again. Oh, Damn it. Be you would think I just... God. The fuck? That wasn't even the kinky kind of burn. That just hurt. These um real wax candles burn at like 9,000 degrees, man. Hey, Ruby. I just burned myself like two seconds ago. It made me mad. An old wives tell that I know to be fact. Uh oh. I don't know any of them to be fact. What are you eating? Blueberries. Oh. Uh. This is in my backup account. My shit posting account. Dude, I ate that um, cantaloupe the other day, and it tasted like there was chemicals in it, like inside of it. But how did it taste like chemicals? Like a, because it's America, Mom. Dude, it tasted like the whole inside of the cantaloupe was like um, some kind of soap or cleaner. 
I was like, what the fuck happened to my cantaloupe? You know how bad something has to be for me to spit it out? Literally. You're homeless. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Oh, really, Ranger? For real? What the hell is in it that makes it do that? That's insane. No, I love you, October. No, it tastes like I was eating a bar of soap. It was crazy. It looked fine. Really, y'all? I did not know that. This is so cool to know. Hi, Gypsy Windstorm. Thank you. I did not know that. I guess I just always ate them before they went bad. <laughs> Bagged air and status. And I love you, random citizen. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know. That's amazing. I did not know that. That is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's Megamind. Megamind reminds me of me. I got enough tools. I'll use a knife for a fork. <laughs> got too much shit on this damn desk. Yeah, I wear jewelry. Um, there's just very few pieces that I wear for an extended amount of time, but I use them like accessories. Um, and that's not because I don't like jewelry. That's just because I'm usually always doing something with my hands. And so, um, bracelets and rings get dirty, and... With my neck, I can't sleep with many necklaces on. And then once I got a parrot, they think necklaces is their fucking chew toy. So it's definitely, I just don't wear them consistently. If I'm going to get ready to do something, I will wear them. I wear the jewelry during readings a lot. Um, Cause some of them have stones in them that help me. Um, I have jewelry for when I go out. to eat and stuff like that. I like rustic or not rustic. I like jewelry that looks like a fucking caveman did it. Seriously, like a rough stone on like a leather strap. <laughs> I 
Oh, I love my, my R Light Rosary now, Miss Miss Cyanide. I listen to everything but country. And super <laughs> good to see your hand. Super heavy gangster rap. Okay, I, 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 I like old uh, Garth Brooks and back country. I'm not a fan of anything really during or after uh, Garth Brooks. It got, it just sounds like a pop music person doing country music. It sounds very weird to me and not very authentic. You bitch. It doesn't sound like country to me. Computer, why do you have to do this shit? It just makes me angry. Okay. What page is this? No. Oh my God. Hold on, I'm having technical difficulty. <laughs> yes. Literally, anything but country. Modern country. What is this? Lisa. Let's order. I'll be right back. Oh, I love Tool. What? <laughs> oh, I listen to Bad Bunny. I don't go buy, you know, their albums, but um, I'll listen to it if it's on the radio or somebody else is playing it. I don't have a problem. You know, Tool is so weird. I don't really know the names of the songs. I just know it as soon as the music starts. And then I'm like, oh yeah, that one, and oh yeah, that one. Puerto Rico, okay. Let's see what Chantal has here. Chantal has a weight loss working. And then do I have that? I don't know if I have that. Hold on. smoke a cigarette first. I'm going to smoke a cigarette and we're going to talk to my hands. Blah, 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 blah. I need to get my nails done, but I have this thing because I was really poor for so long that even if I have the money sitting in the bank to do them, I like refuse to do them until every bill is paid. I'm, I'm paranoid. 
Hey, Zanzana. 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 Okay, I'm not the only one. Okay. Because I'm like, you know, that X, that blah, blah, blah amount, I could have, you know. Well, I, I get mine done as a treat to myself. You know what I mean? So, I don't want to do them myself. And I don't get, I don't get acrylic nails anymore. Um, I just get a gel coat of um, French manicure. And I get my feet done. Does anything void an ancestral protection spell? I mean, you can break through anybody's stuff, yeah. Right, ice strike, yeah. <laughs> um, I just I do too much with my hands, so I just get a gel French manicure and a pedicure that matches it. Hey, Luke, Daddy. Well, that's why I get the 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 gel manicure because I do mess around in the dirt and stuff, and my nails can still look like bling. Look so good. I'm not gonna cast the lips for myself. I'll warn you and I'll do it for you, but I don't do those. If I want somebody to notice me or to notice me outside of the friend zone, I do a, a spell called a come to me spell. And that lets you try to get their attention on your own right. I'll do love spells. Um, but I give the people a warning. And it's three fifty to $500 to get me to break it when it goes wrong. So. I do not know anything about that. No, it's not going to hurt you. Hello, Mary Jane. Roxanne. I got to undo a blood oath. Good luck with that. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Come to me, spell. Just get somebody to notice you. They might not view you in a romantic light. Or, like, in, they might be um, in one league and you're in another. Um, it just gets them to notice you and to engage with you. And then, either they're gonna like it or they're not. It gets you to know get them to notice you in a favorable light. No, I have my own website, witchfoot.com. Like I said, Ice Dragon, good luck with that. <laughs> if he'll do it with you, you should be fine. Um, but on witchfoot.com, I'm not. You can still get classes for the school, but I had to stop the orders because I need to catch up on what I have. I think my love spells were like 125, 150. Do I have favorite trees to work with? Um, I like the crying elms and persimmons. And do I know why? No, I do not know why. Couldn't tell you. Um, I, I do oils. I mean, right now I'm working on a nightshade oil. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I do those. It's just right now I'm playing catch up. Yeah, those spells that come to me is different. My love spells are the ones that force that person. With oils, um, the, you know, I was, I was starting to make a spicy oil. I was starting to make a post about oils. The, the thing is, is what you'll see a lot of time on here is all kinds of creators will be like, look at this oil and look at that oil. It worked. If you don't let that shit sit in that oil for a minimum of three months, I do six months. But three months, it's not going to do shit for you. Okay? The oil has to completely soak into the ingredient and leach out the properties, the magical properties, in order for that oil to work. 
and you don't make it by filling up each little bottle. You take one jar and you cram that bitch full of everything that you want in that oil. And then you pour the oil on it. You leave it in a dark place for three to six months and you shake it every day. Yeah, I do a, I do protection for the home. And I was like, I'm sick of seeing these people. And I know it, I know it, they haven't done it because the oil is the same damn color it was out the bottle. So I know right there you did not do that. Um, I have about 12 herbs I use for fertility, and that's not one that I give out. Yeah. So I know I'm like, you ain't do shit to that oil, but throw some shit in it. What are you doing? <laughs> No, that's a cleansing herb. I lied. Um, protective herb? Mm. I, don't, I like to use um, entities for protection. And, uh, oh, yes, agrimony. That's a very good one. Have the oils work for you? Yeah. I have one left right now. I got. I can't put it up here long because um, TikTok will take it down. It'll stop my live. All right. So y'all know the P word that means kitty. Y'all following me? The P word that it means kitty or that you use kitty for. Okay, so this is kitty, kitty power oil, but it uses the other word. It's a kitty power oil. I'm going to cover the top now. You see how that oil is now dark? It started off with regular canola oil. See how the oil is now a dark color? That's how you know something has been infused. See how it's dark? It changes color when it's properly infused. Now, a lot of people strain out the ingredients when they do the final oil because it clogs the stuff. But I always leave some in there so you see you're not getting bullshit. But, yeah, this is Kitty Power Oil. You can see it changes color. No matter what you put in it. Even if you put something light, you know, light color, it'll still change color. You can use heat, but not to boiling. Oh, hell yeah, Dabo. That is a crystal peen on top, yes. Um, Not to boiling. Boiling breaks... The bonds in plant materials. Uh, yes, Giving Ranger, hold on. It breaks the bonds in plant materials. Um. So you don't use it. Yeah, I got a I got a ding ding oil. Hold on. And this works very well. All right. So before I shake it up. Um, this is the peen oil, and when I shake it up, it's going to look like you got fucking corn diarrhea. Hold on. Um, Nihad, uh, I will not be getting back into that for another week or two. Good night. Alright, so this is peen oil. It smells fucking magical, and... Um, you can wear it uh, as a cologne or as to massage the peen and the ping pong balls and the taint. 
So it's not going to make you sick if you ingest it. You do not want to do this if you're a female and then have the SEX. Instead, you uh, just want to do the hands. Um, if you're a male, it doesn't matter, though. What does it do? It does everything from uh, attracting men um, to giving them super hard on. Oh, I'll give you this for free. Um, I'm going to tell you. Um, and also, if that person has ED, um, you can give them a hand job uh, with this. You can do it with intercourse if you're a vagina owner as long as you're not trying to get pregnant because this will cancel out if you're, you're if it's hard for you to get pregnant this will make it even harder um but otherwise um god there's like 14 different things from the inuit all the way to africa to the aboriginal different uh ingredients in here this is one of my pride and joys and um Anyway, I leave the ingredients in it when I send it to you. They don't take up a lot of space. Of course, you would want to strain that out when you got it. Because then you're going to use it to massage the ping, the ping pong balls, and uh, the taint. I don't think taint is a bad word. And also, right above the ping, if y'all don't know about tantric ping massage, um, I'm going to teach that in my sex magic classes uh, later in the year. Because um, there's a whole massage you do on the pelvic bowl um, of, a, of a man. Um, and they will do whatever you want after you master that. <laughs> um, if you strain it out first, you do not have to wipe it off before you do it. Um, uh, it's never ouchied my... Kitty meow meow. Yes, it is okay with butt stuff. Um, but you can always... Let me tell y'all something. I know that you didn't ask for this, but let me tell y'all something. So when you're dealing with stuff like this or any other sexy time toy... Okay, they make baby wipe warmers for babies. But if you're very active... Get a baby wipe warmer for beside the bed. Uh, because that way, if you just want to wipe off any extra, uh, it's already warm. And it, it's a miracle worker. I absolutely love that. Get a baby wipe warmer for beside the bed. And um, it works miracles. Let me just tell you. <laughs> I came up with that all by myself. So that's, that's the peen oil. I make one batch of that a year because it takes so long. So, yeah. Go invest in those uh, baby white warmers. Especially if you're very sexually active. Which I am. All right, I need to do, uh, how many ingredients are too many ingredients when making no <clears throat> Roxanne, I don't know of, uh, I don't do limits. What do I recommend for anxiety? I recommend an all natural, um, herbal mix that I've taken and my kids taken called Tranquiline. Um, Tranquiline, I think it's from Superior Labs. Do not buy it off of Amazon. You want to buy it off the website. It's called Tranquiline. What did I come here for? No, I don't have any limits. No. Mm -mm. And a lot of people are going to be, uh, I think, surprised that when I start the sex magic. Because a lot of it, it starts out with no partner at all. You know what I mean? Fuck, I just threw that out. God damn it, Jennifer. Where did I put it? 
There it is. Ding. Yes. The anxiety medicine? Yes. No, Tranquiline. Um, so Q U I L E N E. Um, if you go on that website, they will give you the entire they'll show you the label. And if you want to be sure, you can check the each interactions from each um ingredient. But I take serotonin reuptake inhibitor thing or whatever, the serotonin shit and heart medications. And it did not interfere with mine. I don't know about the sex class. I hadn't decided any of that yet. No, the child protection is open to anyone. Alright, I gotta make my list so I can go get my shit off of my shelf. No. All right, I need my charcoal clove, my black salt, snake skin. I got watching this, don't I? Yeah. No, you don't need to know absolutely anything before you start my school. Not nothing. Absolutely. Not. Hey, Brandy. You ain't got to know shit. That's what makes mine different. Obsidian. No, not none of them. Now, they're, they're, my classes are to be taken consecutively, and the first class is free, but you don't have to know shit. You can be an atheist that doesn't know anything about energy or anything of the occult and walk right into my stuff. Oh, was the Top Gun worth it? I bet it is. Bay. Oh, I'm going to use pink pepper. Pink pepper. Alright. Mimosa. God, there's a lot in this one. Um, Mistletoe. Malane. Uh, I'm going to use garlic skin. Garlic skin. All right, I'm going to go get these ingredients. I'll be right back. Oh, the first Top Gun is worth it. Smoked sea salt. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That sounds awesome, Dab. That sounds fucking Richter. That's how bad that sounds. That's awesome. The Kitty Meow Meow Oil is just to make someone desire you. Look at that! Oh, that was my whole phone. Oh, wait. No, that was the plug. Okay. Oh, my God. What's going on? All right. Let's put this stuff back and get the new stuff.
Chili Pepper, where are you? Most of the mistletoe is my way. Well, I'm out of light bulbs, so I'm gonna do one of these. our home protection a spill. Oh no, I got charcoal over here. Inside my black salt. Where? Where? Hello? Oh it's got my black salt, my eggshell. Seashell. I will never use this type of container again for the rest of my natural life. My iron shavings and all that shit. Okay. I just can't bring myself to throw away that bottle. You know I'm never going to use it. Okay.
Mistletoe. You should always have iron shavings in your black salt. That's the strongest component of it. But, I mean, you can get them off of your cast iron pot. Or old iron frying pan or anything like that. Pink pepper. All right, the rest of these uh, have to be put in after that. After that. This is not all. These are just all the ingredients I'm going to mix. The rest I keep whole for aesthetic value. Well, it looks very pretty. Yeah, that's a good way to get in. Just use it. Uh, well, this is part of home protection. Yeah, Dabo, if you can make more than one ring, I want to buy one. That sounds cool. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that, goth witch. You probably look like a mad scientist. That's cool. Yeah, hey, Alex. Oh, my God, my eye itches, and I can't scratch it because I got shit all over my hands. <laughs> Please continue scrunching. Okay. Let me switch hands while I'm smoking. The crunching is, you know, where your energy comes out of your hands. In Australia. Oh, yeah, it's really. Uh, yeah. There's no rose in here. There's pink pepper. That's right, ugly but effective. Oh man, I bet that did hurt. Damn, Brooklyn. Yeah, I wait till the end of the summer before I go dig up my poke root. Oh, I didn't know there were roses in the chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like I'm loud. make a spell stick well if you got cleavers or that would work but um you know if you ain't got nothing around you can literally try it with anything sticky like um honey or chewing gum or molasses i mean tree sap 
But you got to think outside the box. Think outside the box. I like to use cleavers and um, those little beggar's lice plant seeds that stick on stuff. But if you need something on a pinch, you try it out. Is it okay to smoke lavender? I'm going to go with no. Uh, <laughs> it's not okay to smoke anything. Do I ever incorporate Schmied into my work? At no. There is a Target thing. Thank you. No. I'm going to go with no. It's not going to do anything for you anyway. Fried pokeweed. The leaves. Does glitter have metaphysical properties? Um, that would be under the, the, the realm of, of chaos magic. So, some people add glitter because they think it's pretty. I don't see anything wrong with that. But glitter can be really annoying if it's everywhere that you didn't want it to be. So, what I say is, when it comes to things like that, try it. Try it. And then let the rest of us know. Well, lavender is calming in like a tea. <laughs> or... Yeah. Yeah, reflective too. So, um, whenever there's a there's a man-made item that you're unsure about, use it. See what happens and then let us know. I don't know. I've never seen anybody in Hoodoo use glitter. That, but that's just what I've seen. Yeah. So that's I, for anything, any man-made product you come across, um, it could have it. It's just that stuff didn't exist back then. So try it and then come let all of us know. Oh, I'm sure they sell smokable lavender. <laughs> they also sell white sage, but that doesn't mean that you should. Just because you can doesn't mean that you should. Oh, yeah. Milk um, can be used in a spell um, if someone is ill for nutrition or let it curdle, like pour it into the curse jar with other ingredients and let it curdle to make them um, their stomach sour. Yeah, a lot of people, that's why when you ever have a question about it, use it and see what happens. Uh, I have a friend with a GoFundMe. What friend? Coconut water used in cleansing baths comes from ATR practices. And not just the closed ones. Like, it's Spiritismo uses it. So, right, Brandy? That sounds... Oh, you're talking about Harley Hedda? What about it? I just forgot for a minute. Glitter is a piece of crap. Oh, I know that's right. Yeah, I've heard of that before. What about my friend's GoFundMe? I'm so confused. Oh. Aww. Yes, Sunflower. That was King's Clover. Um, and it is primarily used for healing and friendship, I believe. Okay. All right. No, I think it pays out anyway. I 
I would love for funnels to work with my big chunky ingredients, but they don't. They don't. The one time Chantal's not in here and I'm doing her order. <laughs> She's going to be like, what the fuck? I was just in there. No, I won't. It clogs up the funnel. Clogs it right up. Um, Tori Beth, you can send my email or you can just ask me right now. You ever find out what that plant on the side of the road? Yes, that is King's Clover. And it is used for health, um, happiness, and, uh, what did I just say? Healing. Um, these bottles I got were on clearance at TJ Maxx. I usually go to TJ Maxx. Yeah, healing and friendship. Yeah, they help boost. Yeah, it's just my ingredients. I like my ingredients chunky. And since I like them chunky, they're a bitch to get in a lot of times. Got some periwinkle. That is dried, by the way. Bye, Sin. Yeah, that's snake shit. The All Holy Elysium. This stuff is so hard to get. <laughs> Yeah, I love chunky. Okay. Okay. Was nips. All right. So we're gonna set that to. The, oh, let's get the baby. Yes, it is our bulb chimney. Alright, one, two, okay, let's put that to the side. Uh, I have people send me snake skit. Snake shit. I have a couple of friends that have snakes and they send me the shed no nope. all right on the next one this one no <sighs> mm? no mm? yes <laughs> yay a little bit too tall Cut him down a little bit. Nope. They'll be like, that's dangerous. Ban the live. I'm just heating my blade. I love deviated septum breathing.
<laughs> yeah, I use wasp nest. Wasp nest is effective for home protection because that's where they raise their children. Um, and they're protected within that nest. Um, I know that in um, dirt daubers, dirt dauber nest, that is a uh, conjure practice that's added to war water. But in our practice, it too works for protection. You can also use... Um, Spider egg cases. Anything that protects the larvae is going to be protective. So, yeah, I'm not using it as a baneful protection. Now, on this little candle, we want to be sparing because we're not trying to I could make the bottle explode. So this one won't be dressed as heavily. It'll be dressed pretty lightly. Make sure we got the clothes on it. I use drowned mouse in my war water, my baneful war water. You put it in there, you let it rot, burp your bottle, and then you take that bottle and you bust it on the uh, front stoop or on the path in front of the house of someone that you're trying to curse. And everybody who walks through it gets cursed. And so when I do it, I make it and after it settles down and really starts getting gross, eventually it runs out of oxygen and that you don't have to burp it anymore. But God Almighty, you don't want to drop that shit. Your whole house will smell foul for a long time. Um, I rarely do send backs. Really. Um... I, I just use protections to, to avoid the situation. Um, but uh, there are there is a specific herb for sandbags, and I swear to God, I can't remember what the fuck it is. So you can also just do the thing where you burn the candle backwards to reverse it. That's an Appalachian thing.
right there. Name on. And this olive oil on it. Oh, that's where my benzene is? Oh. I'm having issues. <laughs> Hold on, I'm having issues. Okay. Asshole, get in there. Oh, mighty. Why does my life have to be so difficult? The fuck is this even? I swear to God, my life, I, I just made my life harder than what it is. I, I've decided that must be what I'm doing. Where's the thingy? Is it in here? You know what? Where? I don't know where my ass is sometimes. Where is it? I swear to all that is holy.
caught. What the hell even is that? Hold on, y'all. I'll be having technical motherfucking difficulties. God. all I was looking for. Yes. What the fuck? You bitch ass motherfucker. I swear to God. I swear to all that is holy if you do not cooperate. They got time for this shit. My core cuttings work because I put certain herbs that are make it go through. Oh, you bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> I'm getting so mad at myself. I need to eat something. I just scare myself. All right, yeah, I gotta eat something because I'm I'm being goofy right now. I'm forgetting simple stuff that I shouldn't be forgetting. Like dumb shit. Jesus, I am defective right now. That's what I am. Y'all see how I'm being careless? Yeah, I gotta eat. I'm being just stupid right now. Dumb shit.
Yeah, the nails are good. Now I'm going to tell y'all how this works. All right. So how this works is when they receive this, they're going to uncap it. They're going to put um, DNA of each house member, including pets, into here. Then they're going to write the names of the people in the house and the pets on here. And they're going to stuff these in here. Then they're going to add um, olive oil up to about there. And then they put this in the top and they burn it until it gets about here because we don't want to crack the bottle. That's what turns it on. And then they can seal it with the wax if there's any left. And this hangs above whatever doorway is most commonly used in the house. Um, so not necessarily the front door. Sometimes... The hallway is the most often used, but it's up to them. And it is um, protection for any and all in the house. Yeah, it can be used for warm water. All right, hold on. I'm going to print this out, and then I have to get me something to eat. Because I'm starting to make stupid-ass errors. You can't be making errors in witchcraft. You know what I mean? I don't know any use of the Bradford pear, especially since it's become such a bane to everybody's existence. It's kind of got, got its own egregore. <laughs> but it also, you know, you just never know. heat up my food. Hold on.
never draw it open. my factor food. The meal prep. So, while I'm eating, y'all can ask questions. Because I'll be looking at the comment. So we can talk. Yeah, it's not diet food. It's just pre-prep. And that's, that's what I need. This smells really fucking good. Just for anybody who's wondering. <laughs> and they actually use spices and seasoning. So, um, for me it works out well because I don't have time to cook. And I'm trying to eat healthier. Yeah, I forget to eat. You do not have to wait for certain moon spells. Um, there are specialized spells that I prefer. Like when I'm doing working with my Mira, I want a new moon. Because uh, I don't want interference from photons. It doesn't hurt to do them on certain moon phases. But it doesn't work against you if you don't. Can you put some... You know, you smash it. I'm not going to tell you what you can or who you can or can't text. Hex. A bumblebee nest with eggs. A bumblebee nest with eggs would be good to, um, on a curse to make someone barren. This is factor. Factor meal prep. It's so free dip, tastes so good. It's so good. It may, it may look like, like banquet, but mm, it don't taste like it.
I haven't ate today, I don't think. I don't think so. See, I have old fat from when I used to eat my thinnings, and it just kind of hangs out there. Yeah, I added the cheese. There wasn't enough cheese. There is no such thing as too much cheese. The easiest spell, I swear, I don't nobody want to be sober. I agree with that. The easiest spell. Yeah. Easiest spell, I think, is healing spell. No, the easiest spell would be house cleansing. If you wanted something crocheted, what would you want? Oh, hey, Machete Bear. Um... Um... Do you know how to make crocheted animals? Like crocheted stuffed animals? Because my granny made me one and I lost it a long time ago and I can tell you exactly what it looked like and how long it was. <laughs> if I'm able to give you an accurate sketch, sketch, can you recreate it? It's just a frog. But... I lost it, and it was my favorite toy from my granny. I pay for it, too. I've never seen another one. I don't think she used a pattern. See if she answers. All right, hold on. Let me write this down. I would do anything to recreate that particular stuffed animal. I took it everywhere. Granny's frog. I'll reach out to you so that we can uh, FaceTime or Google Duo or WhatsApp. After I, you know, get your information and send you the pattern. It's not a hard pattern at all. Um, and I don't care how long it takes and I'll pay for it. It's, uh, it's a very simple frog. It's just, uh, it was one of my favorite belongings. Yeah, these factor meals, they may look like banquet meals, but these things taste so fucking good. Like they are made in a restaurant. It's ridiculous. Definitely going to recommend. I've had three of them so far, and they are all fucking delicious. Oh, I don't know. I don't count calories. I just know that they make healthy food. A machete bear, I would I would be really grateful. Um, I just needed healthy food already made. So it's not a diet. Hey, babe, what's up? Um the price of these is less than if I would have bought it and done it myself. Yeah. I have, bam. What's up, my king? You finished making videos already? Yeah, I just need it already made, so 
It's not diet food. If you eat correctly, you don't need to diet. I know, I've already done it once, so I'm just doing it again. Uh, <laughs> Lynn's. That's awesome, man, dude. If y'all like a guy with no drama, he just likes making good lip sync videos and he brings happiness everywhere he goes, follow right there that angel of light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. And it's chip food. You know what I mean? It ain't even good food that we're trying to buy. It's shit food. Even the shitty stuff is getting expensive. I'm like, what the fuck? I swear to God, if ramen noodles ever goes over a dollar, that's it. The world is ending. I am Tori Beth because other people wanted to see what I do. Is a broken mirror like broken glass? No. Not for witchcraft purposes. Mm -hmm. Dude. Oh, okay. Thank you, Vamp. Yeah, if that shit gets over a dollar, mm -mm, the world's about to end. Banned. I said, yeah, I've thought about using it. I thought about using a couple different things, but just ended up with my desk. I don't know what all's open up in Jersey. You can use a broken mirror. I use them to make mirror boxes. I would use broken... Man, that cup... I don't give a fuck about Wawa. That cup is as good as a... Um, what's that brand of insulated cup? That Yeti. Oh, my God. $1. fifty each. Uh-oh, Armageddon. Could use only three ingredients in baneful work. What would I use? Let's see. Pus. Bed bugs are good for curses. Pus. Rue and calamus. Bed bugs are good for um, curses. Oh, I don't know. I don't pay attention. I know it's healthy. It's balanced. And it fills me up. Martha, um, flathead worms will literally eat anything in their path. So maybe you could apply that. But also, on the flip side, if you cut them up, no matter how you, if you cut them up in four pieces, you get 40 flathead worms. So you could use it for rejuvenation. Dude, that Alfredo sauce is fucking good. I needed this. That lack of food was making me be retarded. Two dollars, that's it, Armageddon.
Lola bitched it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Angel, you don't have to. I would absolutely obliterate anybody that messed with you, babe. I'm going to smoke. And then I'm going to rinse out my container so I can recycle it. And then I'll go back to making stuff. Hey, Alan. This is a witch, witch feet gift. Just about anything that you see in the background, if it is decoratory, it is a witch feet gift. I have so many. I have well over 100. Well over 100 things. So if it's decoratory, it's probably all, uh, as a gift from the witch feet. Because uh, I like to keep it... That's right, Andy. I'll get them. I like to keep myself surrounded by that energy. Cherry laurel? Hmm. What's its properties in baseball? Hey, I don't know how to ignore I don't know what a WL spell is, Passion Fruit. Hey, little beetle. No, you gotta get out of here. Get out of here. Shoo. What? Okay. Uh, well, no. Uh, that would be, in that case, since you sprayed poison all over it. Bad. I don't know why you did that. Um, I would use it if you're trying to disrupt a happy home. Oh, weight loss. Oh, cyanide. Weight loss. Uh, there, yes. You have to be, that's one you have to be very, very, very particular about. It's not, no, no spell is going to make you suddenly lose weight unless you lose a limb or something or you get violently ill. My weight loss spell has to do with breaking bad habits and reducing hunger. <clears throat> that's how my weight loss spell works. And just recently, I started using it on myself. Yes. Yeah, and that's why I state that on the ad. I'm like, don't buy this spell. You think you're just going to burn it. Shit going to go away. Wait, what if I use tapeworms? I don't curse. I suppose that would be good. Yes, asexual raven. I did. I just, I get so many things at once that I, I really can't thank everybody. Uh, I try to put it in my background, though, so that everybody can see because... Um, I surround myself with witch feet gifts. <coughs> Thanks. Um, you could do something to override your willpower. Okay, so no sleep here. Can you bear? I take my medicines because I don't like being a psychopath. Yes, generally, the aspects of the bugs and stuff is sympathetic. I'm not sure how to word that. 
I don't use Lost in Essence and Baneful Magic. They they protect the young. I've heard that some people do, but I don't do that because they build them to protect their family. I use it in home protection. But someone on here just said that they used it for Baneful. The job is fine. They're asleep. I mean, I suppose they could, but I don't know exactly what you would use your free hair for. All right, that's going to be completed. Come on. Update. Oh, yeah, maybe with some. I like tapeworms with cancerous tissues. And... Hell, Brooklyn, I'll try it. That sounds pretty good. All right, Clarissa. What does Clarissa need? Clarissa needs a come to me spell. Okay. Oh. I forgot that come to me spell. It's got so much different stuff. Oh. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, molding milk, curdled milk's good. All right, I'm fixing to make a come to me spell. They do be out there using my face, yeah. I don't keep a large garden at the moment. I um, harvest, wild har harvest most of my stuff, or whatever I can, rather, and then I buy the rest. The uh oh Lex Lunar. I gotta get lots of stuff. Do I have gorse? I don't think I have gorse root. Right? I don't think I had it. I don't think I have it. I learned that it's King's Clover and it's good for healing and friendship. Bob and Shady Bear. I get my bee pollen down uh, locally. Get y'all's ass on that damn bed. Yes, I have seen the TikTok creator Ambrosia from Australia. But I test my spells on my family members. They help her get pregnant, but then I also give them the information for the herbs to take in order to thicken the cervix um, to keep it in there while they're pregnant. So the spell work gets them pregnant, and then there are specific herbs you take to make it stay. Or try your best to help it to stay if it's viable. Is that Bob? That's Bob and Fast Get on my I cover afterlife and all that stuff on my YouTube. <clears throat> Let me go take care of my dishes because I gotta start the next customer spell.
Oh, this got my sponsor stuff in it. Y'all get to see a very unique ingredient in a minute. Gonda.
know. I need musk oil. Okay, so this one requires a little bit of prep on a couple of these ingredients. They're not just ready to go. So sometimes you have ingredients that are hydrophobic. And when they're hydrophobic, if you go to put your, your wax to dress the candle, it's going to roll off the same way. And so I'm going to tell you how to deal with that. So I got date palm pollen from uh, Saudi Arabia. And I got some Shadavari powder from India. Both are hydrophobic. <clears throat> so if you try to sprinkle that on your candle and think you're going to cover it with wax, that shit is not going to happen. So, I'm going to tell you what you do. So, what you do is you're going to get an oil. So this one requires musk oil. Um, but you can use a, if you're not using this, you can use, um, uh, canola oil is a good neutral oil, but I need this musk oil on this spell. So, go ahead and pop your oil out. <clears throat> a little Coke spoon. And... I'm going to add your... Give me on the powder. I mean, that's my Shadavari powder. And the other hydrophobic ingredient that we got here is my date palm pollen from the Middle East. Okay. I don't know if I regret to do this. So <clears throat> now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a paste. Make a paste with that musk oil. Okay. Okay. A nice little pasty paste going on. Candle. 
Christ. Rub it on your prep candle. That's one of the first ingredients. Because it will fuck up your mix. When you go to dress a candle, it doesn't like water, and it's going to make that stuff roll right off. So, <clears throat> so you want to prep it separately from the other stuff. Nobody may pay attention, but there's your free little lesson there on hydrophobic ingredients. <clears throat> the second thing that's going to need prep. Oh, shit. As soon as I find it. is hydron. Now in, in root work, you, you can use hydron by carrying it with you as a whole root. Um, but when you're using it as an ingredient, you want to get it out your um, grater because it doesn't take much. You also do this when using Lucky Hand Root inside of a spell. Okay. See, it does not, you don't use it. <clears throat> now the special ingredient y'all are gonna get to see is why this particular spell is so expensive. Mm -mm. I keep it in a special place and then I never remember where I keep it. Cause that's how I roll. Oh, here it is. This is ambergris. Okay. Does anybody know what ambergris is? That's right. This is that whale fucking musk puke shit. Okay. This is what makes your eau de parfum more expensive than your eau de toilette. <clears throat> no, it's not. It's ambergris. <laughs> um, this little piece here is worth a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. It's worth about a couple hundred dollars. Um, but it's very valuable. It, it does not take a lot. Uh, and it works. It's also my musk oil that I use is expensive too because I get it from where it's not supposed to be got. Okay. So you see how much it made. Use it very sparingly because it is extremely expensive to get. Yes, it does smell good. Leaf. 
I swear to God, I use agrimony so much. <laughs> oh. Ashwagandha. Why ambergris? Because ambergris is used one of the best ingredients for a come to me spell. That's why. Got some parsnip. Yep, parsnip. If I don't quit dropping shit. Salt palmettos look like they're going to be really, really hard to deal with, but um, they cut quite well. And so I generally just cut them. Um, they look like they're going to be hard, but they're not. So I will cut them and smash them around. This is a chunky spell. I like the chunks, but not everybody does. If you don't, put it to your coffee grinder. And I just... Sent that saw palmetto airborne. So that's a, you know, just crunch it up. This is the actual saw palmetto seed. We'll probably have to put that on there manually. It's really aggravating. Um, these don't do well in the um, pedestal because they're very hard. They're not going to break down. None of these ingredients break down. So this is a very um, I like the chunkiness of it to put it on the candle. That's just me. There's no rules that says you can't do that, you know? Right. So it's the ingredients in this one that make it more expensive than what I usually charge for stuff. to me spell um, is to it can be used to attract someone new to you like get you out of the friend zone or it can be used to make you more attractive to someone who you think may have fallen out of love with you but it doesn't have the will control of a love spell <coughs> so it just makes them notice you and reconsider you. It does not force their, their love on. You can't force this in one for force and love. You can also use this as a gold tier spell. If you just add some um, willpower controlling herbs. Like calamus and rue. Um, it becomes a gold digger spell. Because then they're going to give you all their money. Um, the instructions will, um, by the time you get it, I'm changing the website, so the instructions will actually be under the item that you ordered on the website. So, like, if it's not there, if it's not there now, by the time you get it, um, you'll just go back to the website under the item you ordered, and it will have the instructions for you there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not making, I'm not taking any more orders right now, though, because I need to catch up the ones I'm behind. Um, but it, it will be. Um, gold digger spell for business? Uh, no, that's mainly used to manipulate men. Um, there, there's a business spell. So the money prosperity spell works for business too. Well, mine does. Okay, let me put it to you that way. Mine does because I put the things that pertain to business. This one is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a small one. So there's only eight, nine ingredients in this one. That's a small, small one for me.
Mr. James is in here? I haven't been able to get back to him about his interview podcast thing. I don't remote view, so I can't answer that question. When's the next corporate vid? Am I missing vids? Um, I use my hands when it's uh, toxic anyway, because none of my ingredients are so toxic that if you touch them, something bad's going to happen. Okay, Andy, love you. Oh, Rachel, yeah. Um, but as for if you're allergic to something, don't use it. I don't have a reason to remote view, and I don't don't care to do, to learn it. I'm fine. Yes. <laughs> Let me get the ingredients out of the fucking comments. I'm so inconsiderate. You can have what you want. That's your sale. Um, the only time I, I really I specify. There are two spells that you do not add anything to or you will fuck it up. Other than that. Oh yeah, not go. Other than that, you're good. Remember we've already put that paste on the candle. Uh, I don't know. I go by, uh, I don't know. Your TikTok names aren't in it. So I'm going by order number and your actual given name. Um, but I'm getting there. Uh, uh, the 911 trauma grief relief spell. Don't, don't add anything to that or it can turn very, very, very bad. And, uh, the, if you make the mistake of ordering a love spell. Your DNA is in that spell whether you want it to be or not. Which foot? How does it spell to be the most hated in love? Which foot? I don't even... You know, Brooklyn, somebody's asked you that before. I don't even... I don't even really think about it. You know what I mean? I just don't, because to me, the fact that people want to see what I do, like the people that like me, the number of you, like, I can't wrap my mind around it. The people that hate me, I mean, I don't know. The fact that I do both is, is, I mean, I've always been a fan of people like Eminem and, you know, stuff like that. So, you're never going to please everyone but but I really don't think about it that much I really don't yeah most of the people that don't like me never took the time they're going off of one video and that's not someone I want to associate anyway so if you judge somebody off of one action um, that's not the kind of person I want to associate with. So it doesn't, I don't feel like I'm missing anything by these people that hate me. Because they, they don't have the amount of intelligence that I'm willing to engage with. Mm. 
No, right. If there was, I'd probably be rich. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't... I, I mean, I don't care. It has to do with me knowing who I am. You know? I know who I am. So if Joe Blow on TikTok thinks that I'm XYZ horrible, I really don't care. They they are totally irrelevant to me. Oh, okay, Christy. Go however, whatever slow it is to help you get it. Ice Dragon, I used to let people bother. It used to bother me what people thought about me. Until. I'm going to say 30-ish. But I did specific. I had been doing therapy so long in order to understand stuff. So I deliberately did stuff in order to get myself the way I am now. Well, the good thing about that, I don't know how to act normal, is that you have those lessons forever. Right, full quits? You're like, wait a minute. Yeah, so it came a little later. Um, and it takes you a while to get to know yourself. And if you know you're not racist and you know you're not all the other things that they told me, then it doesn't matter if somebody else does. It just doesn't. I don't care. That's why I post everything to YouTube. So that, that people can make up their own mind. I'm not here to convince a motherfucking person. But if you want to know what's going on, it's all on it's all on YouTube. Make your own decision. That's how I feel about it. This is a really big candle. I don't know why I made it so big, but oh well. Where's my motherfucker? Okay. Yeah, it took me a while to get there, but once I got there, I just stayed. Yeah, I put the paste of musk oil, shatamari powder, and um, date palm pollen from the Middle East. Because they are hydrophobic, and your oil, your wax will roll right off of there. And like you didn't even put it on the candle. It's very aggravating, so that's how you fix it.
So like I say, I do this the slow way. This is when I put my intention in there. To go along with the herbs that I've already turned on. And that's why I take the long way. Because when you open my box, you should feel energy when you open your package. You should be like, wow, man, I feel that stuff coming through the box. I know when I put my candle down, some of y'all get such anxiety. <laughs> mm, I've been working with fire for a very long time. Since I was about six or seven. That's what happens when you are raised on a farm. You learn about fire and their properties and all that stuff. What is it, that? I know, doggy. Your husky side always has so much to say. Need water? Well, hold on, let me finish this side and I'll go get some water. Hold on. And 
get you some water. Let me finish this side. Okay, I'm back. Okay, Brooke. <laughs> oh, no. I only put it in their water about um, once a month to stave off any infections that they might have. My fur babies be getting on my motherfucking nerves sometimes. I'm like, if you motherfuckers don't do what I told you, how long you been with me now? <laughs> they be giving me anger management sometimes. That bowl been empty for two days. Stop that shit. What are you even doing over there?
what in the fuck? You playing games with me, Kendall. Anybody got time for the games? Anybody got time for your shit? Anybody got time for your bullshit? Yo, Wick, you need to calm down. What in the hell? Why is my wick being so damn extra? Why are you being so extra?
kind of zoned out.
What the fuck, Jennifer? No, what in the fuck? I don't have time for this. Stop it. Just doing shit all by itself. I knew I asked for all that, dude. water out of a well. That's what I need. <laughs> For my workspace. This is for my Lilith Immaculate. 
which God, that smells like food. It smells so good. It smells like food.
That's the psychic opening candle. I already made it. It's a psychic opening. I made that for her the other day. One of my die hard people. Oh no, that is psychic protection. Necklace. What? Necklace. And the men's oil. back uh no the come to me is is made for a romantic partner The job career working is for an employer. Oh my god. I didn't have any of that left. I just made it. I just made it. Where is it? I have any left. What's this? Home protection. Oh, that was a new beginning. Okay. Hold on, I gotta go get my charger. Oh, please. Probably gonna be the last one I do. I'm getting a little bit tired. Let's 
this is another New Beginnings. <clears throat> I wish I could quit hacking on myself. I love you, Lau. Oh my God. You know, I'm an extremely clumsy person. Like, I'm surprised I haven't killed, uh, killed myself off of an accidental something. I'm so clumsy. I can't go out. Well, you got to confirm that something's watching you just because your friend thinks that you need to confirm it. Um, you can do a reading with someone. You can do a, an egg reading. You can pay to have someone do it. You don't just randomly do stuff because somebody thinks something's at, around you. And negative energy doesn't necessarily mean it's bad either. Hello, Paige. Peachy pain. But the same thing goes for the friend. Don't matter who it is. Same thing goes for the friend. You can't just randomly start doing something when you don't even know what it is. And like I said, negative doesn't mean bad. So, you need to get a reading from someone. Of course there is. Is, there, is the negative side of the battery, is that the bad side of the battery? Does a battery have a good side and a bad side? No, it doesn't. Thank you. Y'all letting Christianity stay in your line of thinking. Stop letting Christianity rule how your brain views things, because that's exactly what that is.
Just because something doesn't feel like a ball of light sitting there next to you does not mean it's a bad thing. Your brain is still Christianified. You need to undo that. Y'all be getting stuff twisted, the young ones. Think about heroin. You get high off of heroin, it feels great. One of the worst things for you. But all the while, it's plenty of positive vibes. You'd be vibrating higher, feeling great. Stuff is absolutely horrible for you. But it would pass your vibe check with that Christian, uh, Christianified mind you're working with. You asking something that cannot be fixed. The girl needs a reading to see if anything's around her. Like, I don't know how many different ways we can tell you that. You can go to my website and it will tell you what the, the, each of my spells have a description it'll tell you what it does. That's not me being mean, it's just I'm doing something right now. What the fuck, Kendall? Stop being stupid. If you don't start doing what the hell you're supposed to do, Kendall, my goodness. Why are you going so slow, bro? That's even slower than I go. Okay, that's better. Wonder little candle. Yes. Don't test me, candle. Blow your ass out of existence. It's supposed to be helping me, not giving me attitude. What are we doing, Candle? What are we doing? Going down the wick. <laughs> K 
kind of what we have here is a failure to communicate. Like you trying to burn my fucking fingers off. I don't know, Ice Dragon. Maybe the screen, you've been looking at the screen too long, maybe? Okay. Why these candles trying to bite me? I swear I don't remember putting coriander in this, but there surely is coriander seeds in here. And I made this in front of y'all, and I don't recall adding coriander seeds. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how that got in there, quite frankly. Because I know that I made it on film while I was recording with y'all. I swear. Spirit was like, oh, I'll just add it. Because uh, I know I can go back on this camera and it does not show me adding coriander seeds.
I swear. I'm not going to order these cameras. This shit is therapeutic for me. These candles are making me mad, so I'm going to use a motive. Um, this is a New Beginnings candle. Um, so all my um, recipes are on my website. I leave out one or two ingredients because um, I can't give all my shit away. But the majority of it is on my website under each one. I, I don't really hide anything. Um, yeah, it's very therapeutic. Oh, this little candle is vanilla. I didn't know that. It smells like cake. Or sugar cookies.
that's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to put together some more ingredients in a minute. I think, maybe, hell, I don't know. What am I even saying? Okay. Jennifer. I sort of Let's see if I want to do something else or if I want to go to bed. What? 
Hell wash. Gemination. One dash two. This is not rocket surgery computer. Hold on, y'all. Let me... This one. Um. Hmm. Okay. What do I want to use that? I'll use gray. Hold off, I don't know that Uh, Tranquiline. So the word tranquil and then E N E. No more lies. All right, I could do that one. No more lies. Two of them. All right. All right. No more lies. I'll do the no more lies before I go to bed. Alright, I'm going to leave that spell there. Because I got to think about that one. That was a custom working. I didn't see it. And they told me what they wanted. And I'm like, oh, I think I can do that. Alright. No more lies. All right, let's put this stuff up. Cause none of this is. It's a uh, rue. Yeah, that's a simple spell.
All right. So we got tongues, root, seed quartz, orris root, and primula. Good luck finding this one. No, the tongues aren't real. <laughs> oh my god, I'm out of beverage. I don't drink much soda, so I got these little tiny cans. Well, that's true. If they were cheap, I would use the dehydrated ones. Do you know when you will start on the love spells? Uh, I, what? I don't even know if I have any. Okay. Completely fake knife. Okay. This is a simple but really effective spell. The problem is finding the ingredient. So. This is, um, very difficult to get a hold to. Yeah, I do these so y'all know that I'm doing it and I'm not just sitting on my ass. <laughs> I'm not taking any orders right now because i got to catch up on the ones that I have. I have a lot of people patiently waiting. That's what's aggravating about this spell is getting the ingredient. This is one of my spells that uses the least amount of ingredients. This 
this is primulus. Getting real primulus is a challenge. They might send you a bag and say it's primulus. <laughs> but I can open it and be like, you're full of shit. That is not primula. Yes, yes, um, yes. If I'm doing it for myself, or you want the cow tongue version, um, that is, of course, way more expensive because I have to get the cow tongue. But what I found is for this particular one, this is the No More Lies, if I send it to the person, so I'm going to mail this back to them, um, it works because they are able to, when, when y'all touch it, that's like the homing beacon. So we can use a sympathetic tongue in this case, uh, and it works. Yes, band girl at heart. Of course I would. That's some expensive shitting. No, if, if you want me to do it here at my house, then you got to pay for the cow tongue. But these are getting sent out to the person, and so it becomes like a a um, beacon. All right, I'm just this is a small amount, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set my hand over it. What's it for? This is the No More Lies. This stops people from lying to you. I do not use a specific species of primula. Um, if you grow it yourself, that's best. It doesn't matter. But when you're somewhere and you order it, a lot of times, that's not what you're getting. That's my engagement ring. Like, if you know what a plant looks like, what it's supposed to look like, and you order your package of primula, you're like, what the fuck is this? That's my wedding ring set. And my moonstone just happened to look exactly like the moon. I'll show it to you uh, when I get finished with charging these things up. So it actually looks like the moon. Um, I try to get the wild primula. Seems to work better, the wild version. Um, but that doesn't mean the domestic version doesn't work. Okay. So, if you can find somebody that does the wild organic primula, it's good. Um, these two work together. So, for this spell, this is one of those spells where you don't need, you can add, don't take away. So, in this one, these two work together in this spell. Yeah, he did do good, didn't he? And actually, the the moonstone ring is silver, but the band is a uh, sterling sil sterling. No, okay, the moonstone is sterling silver, and the bands are stainless steel because I'm so vicious on uh, jewelry. 
Oh, cool, Marionberry. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm not a diamond fan. If I want, if I had a diamond, I would want it to be really big so I could see all the colors. You know what I'm saying? Like when it's on my and plus, I don't like rings that catch. Okay, so if I have a stone sticking up there, it's gonna catch. But the colors that diamonds make, I like them if it was big enough for me to sit there and hold it and twist it around in the light. You know what I mean? I don't want it particularly on a ring when cubic zirconia can do the same thing. Oh, I love uncut stones. Oh, really? I just like it because, um, the moon. <laughs> If it could, if I could have a little Jupiter there, I'd probably do that. Yes, I use raw stones more than any other. Um, and it's because of the surface area. It's got more surface area, that's it. Um, for when you're using them and stuff. Alright, let's use... Doing these little candles is aggravating the pit. Yeah, Ruda. Yeah. Um, zirconium, at least for my eyes, cubic zirconium does the exact same thing. I cannot tell the difference um, between diamond and cubic zirconium. Like, I got this little, where is that little shit ring? Where is it? Where did I put that thing? Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is, uh, I don't know, it's not good lighting. Um, but in real life, it has, so, can you see all the different colors? And that's a, that's a zirconium, so I'm like, yep, I'm good. <laughs> I just like the pretty colors. Yes, this person is not going to lie to you anymore. <sighs> I hate doing these little candles. Let me try them stuff together. <laughs> Got to have somewhere to start. Come on, man. Come on, asshole. I just need a place to start. Okay. Thank you. Getting these tiny candles started is just a pain in the ass. Like, just fucking stick, asshole. I hate these little candles. So aggravating. 
like, why are you standing up like that? Get your ass down. Yeah, I sleep, um, I usually fall asleep around 3 or 4 in the morning when Philip's not here. When Philip's here, I get on a more normal schedule, but when he's not here, I revert back to my night owl ways. Aggravating it is to get these tiny ass candles started. Shit gets on my nerve. There is a dog here. You're contributing to the spell, Fats. No matter how long I left this candle sitting here like this, it's not going to start a fire. You, I've been working with fire since I was about six. Um, if you were raised in a rural area, you know all about fire. I could leave this candle right here where it is all night until it burned out and it still wouldn't start a fire. So, you have to know the physics of fire and then once you do, you don't fear it anymore. But yes, I know some of y'all's anxiety goes through the roof when I lay my candle down. You're like, oh my God. But it wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't do anything. Finally, can take my time.
Yes. Yes, big difference. But I find that the, the Mexican one I have to use more. I don't know if it's a different genus than the other kind. You have to cool these little ones because if you rub them too soon they snap in half because <laughs> the candle gets heated all the way through so got to be a little bit more careful got to dry the little ones a little bit more before you roll them Um, I have no need to get the wax out of the crevices because this is my work desk. So, there's no need to remove anything. Eventually, after 30 years or so, it'll just be really thick with them and become a magical item in itself. Bitch, I said, bitch. I'll fuck you then. I swear I hate these little candles. They give me anger management issues. Material world. Can stick on there, quartz. This is not optional. I gotta get some more of these seed quartz too. My tiny little quartzies. Just breathed and knocked some of my stuff off.
that. Thank you, Taylor Dog. Where did that come off of? But keep your eyes on. Alright. Yeah. Get your ass. Start there with you. Start with you. You want to be difficult. I'll let that cool for a minute before I roll it.
yeah. Four seventy two. Um, oh, fuck. It's the it's the UPS post office box. Four seventy two John Ross Parkway. It's under which foot? Oh, let me see what the sweet is. Hold on. I think I forgot the sweet. Um, hold on. UPS store. Rock Hill. South Carolina. Address. Sweet 107. Oh, you know what? It's 572. What do I have on there? 472? It's 572 John Ross Parkway. Uh, Sweet 107. Do I have that incorrect on my post? Yeah, if you, if you address it to my name, they're not going to know who the hell it's for. Yeah, 572, uh, Sweet 107. I guess I need to fix that. <laughs> well, time to redo that. Yeah, it has to be addressed to Witchfoot, or they're going to be like, what? We don't have anybody by that name here. So the way that works is you put the candle in the hole. You write the person's name and birth date um, and, and a picture or whatever. And it goes under the tongue. And then you put this on it. Oh, oh hell no. That candle's not cold yet. <laughs> All right. So the name is up underneath that. And then you violate the tongue. And you're going to melt the bottom of the candle's. So that it stays there and then you you pepper this all, all around it that fucking a man okay so the name goes under there <laughs> um or it really can go anywhere i mean if you want to stick it on the candle anyway put the candle through the hole and you light the bottom so it sticks and you pepper this all around it and you light that bitch and that's how that works Now this candle's got, this tongue has poo on it because I had my hands on it. Now they're going to think I'm giving them a used tongue. I need to put that They're going to be like, Bitch made my order late and I got a used tongue. Kind of crappy ass bullshit. Is that? <laughs> is that big enough? No. But, yeah. Well, maybe a little bit more. Okay. No more used tongues. 
Let me print this off. Come on. Okay. Did I print it already? No. Print. Custom. Cash. Tail. Print. Be like, I've been waiting for this shit for six months and she gave me a used tongue. What kind of fuckery is that? Does the tongue burn? Uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on how hot. Giving, giving girls coke. <laughs> Somebody's name is really Betty Jane. That is awesome. Alrighty. I am going to do... This job working before I go to bed. Because I already have the stuff made up for it. I made it up yesterday. these messages. Green or black? Green? Oh. This will be the last one I make. Where's my job stuff? There it is. Boom. Got enough for one more spell. Okay. Yeah, thanks for pointing out that I got the wrong fucking address up there. to correct that on my damn post. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no help if I gave you the right address. Let's fix these before we light them.
That first row is always so aggravating. All the job tears fall off. Let me mad as hell. I'm just trying to make a candle. Look at that shit. fucker.
go. Hold on. Oh, I'm not Kenna. Don't be playing games with me. Anybody got time for that? I don't know how you even switch up like that. We are so close to being done. Mm -mm, you're not switching up on me. I can play these games, Candle. You understand? We're not here to play games. We need to get your shit together. And get your shit together. I never burn this bread of candles again. Oh my god. I'm going to download this and put it up on my YouTube live for anybody that is wondering. Bravo. <laughs> just gonna start doing the lives from YouTube because then YouTube just auto loads it and I don't have to worry about loading it up downloading it to my phone taking up space and then uploading it to YouTube because YouTube just auto uploads it so that's what I think I'm gonna do
I will drop us asleep right now. Just going to Ontario. All right, y'all. It's time for me to chillax and do my night routine. Um, it takes a minute to download from TikTok, but I will download and upload it to YouTube. So everyone say bye bye. Say yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. What the fuck is that? Bye bye. Boo.